What's up guys, it's Jay, more than the kill, and I'm here on LEGO City motherfucking undercover. That's right, this is a game that I've been waiting for to come out for a very long motherfucking time. That's right, this is the reason I bought my Wii U, and my Wii U has been sitting in the corner of my room, in the box, until this week, they finally released this fucking game. And this is my Sunday Q&A motherfucking Let's Play, and if you've never seen any of my Q&As before, what I do is I answer your questions. Every single motherfucking one of them, unless I answered them a million times before. And like I said last video, please listen to this, because I will not be answering any more Borderlands related questions. I've answered them all. You can go back and watch all the answers you want for anything you need Borderlands related are all in my Borderlands videos and in my Q&A's. So, without further ado, let's start a new game. Alright, uh, as you can see, I played about 10 minutes of the game already, just to make sure, you know, uh, I, I, I was feeling it, you know? Just to make sure that I was feeling it. So, uh, <laughs> I keep pushing the wrong buttons on this fucking gamepad. It's, uh, yeah, let's confirm this save. And, uh, yes, I'm gonna turn the subtitles on for you guys, so you can follow along with the story. I will be talking through cutscenes, because it's what I do. And I don't need any motherfucking copyright claims from companies saying that I'm using their copyrighted voice actors in my videos. So I talk over cutscenes, because I don't want to lose my channel over a five minute cutscene. So, let's answer some motherfucking questions while we wait for this to load. And I will warn you, the loading screens in this game are very long. Like PS2 style loading screens. As you can see, I'm still sitting here talking through this loading screen. You can't see the actual controller that I'm holding that has the loading screen progress bar in it. But it's about halfway right now. So uh, that is a little bit of a pain in the ass with this, uh, with this game. But it's actually a really fun game. It's an open world style Grand Theft Auto Lego game. And Lego games are usually amazing. And this game is nothing short of the quality that Telltale... I think... No, it's not Telltale. Why did I say Telltale? Telltale does the fucking Walking Dead. Suck my balls, Telltale. <laughs> so, let's get into the first question. And it's from the Bossmaster 99 And he says, what are your top three... Top three. Top three favorite first person Welcome shooters. God damn. I am fucking this shit up so bad. <laughs> but my top three. Three. My top three favorite first person. God damn. Are probably Team Fortress 2. Uh, we gotta throw Counter Strike in there because Counter Strike is a really fun game. And uh, I, I would put Goldeneye up there or Turok 2. But they have since aged pretty badly. And I, I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I, I think uh, I think Modern Warfare 2 I'm going to have to put up there simply because I had a lot of motherfucking playing time on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Actually, it was my longest played Call of Duty. I think I have like 14 or 16 goddamn days played on that game, which is as much as I have on Borderlands 2, so I've actually played Borderlands 2 a lot motherfucking more than I have played so some fucking, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, Modern Warfare 2, yeah, because in, like, two years, three years, I have, like, 16 days played, but I have that same amount played on Borderlands in, like, two months, and I wouldn't really call Borderlands a first-person shooter, I'm gonna call it a first-person RPG, so, uh, yeah, if you're following along here watching this story, uh, this motherfucker is headed to, uh, Lego City to be a cop. He's Lego City undercover, and we're crashing into a bridge. And uh, that bitch was just doing the Titanic. Did you see it? He's like, I'm an angel. I'm gone. <laughs> My love will go. Did you hear that? That was a Titanic Easter egg. That was fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. So let's go on to the next question. And it's from Sand the Man. And this is actually going to be the last time I'm going to answer this question. Even though it's a Borderlands 3 question, I'm going to retire this question because I've answered it. A lot. I've actually even put it into a video a few times. He says, do you think there will be a Borderlands 3? Yes! Yes, there will be. And it will be called Border Worlds. Uh, Gearbox has already bought the uh, namesake. 
for Border Worlds, so you can pretty much bet your ass. Oh, look, Lego boobs! <laughs> I love Lego boobs. Everybody, they should be square. If, if, I, I want to write a petition to this game to show the boobs in 3D, but have like little pegs coming off there to give them a little bit more depth instead of just like a little colored on fucking crevice there for her cleavage. But yeah, there will be a Borderlands 3. It will be called Border Worlds and it's most likely going to be an MMO. And with the way that uh, PS4 and Xbox, I guess 720 they're calling it, and with the way that's going, there are going to be MMO style games, especially if you take a look at what Bungie is doing with Destiny. And Destiny looks amazing. Fucking amazing. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, we gotta stop fucking, we gotta stop Rex Fury. Let's go and stop this motherfucker. And we're actually in the game now. That was a long ass cutscene. Look at these, uh, look at the graphics though. The graphics for a Nintendo system are actually pretty fucking good. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, well, it doesn't look much better than a 360 or the fucking PS4 right now. You gotta remember, this is a Nintendo system. They aren't marketing it for, like, hardcore video games and shit like that. But I think, if you take a look, they've done a really good job with this system. I mean, there's a lot of detail going on in here if you take a look around. Like, you got, like, fucking... Usually these games, everything are made of Legos. But this, we have actually real-world texture styles mixed in with Legos. So, that actually looks really good. And... Apparently, <laughs> we can run around and punch the living shit out of anything that's made of Legos, break it, and collect the Legos. Can we punch that? Yeah! Apparently, that box was made of Legos, even though it didn't really look like it. Fuck it. Let's go ahead and get in our motherfucking car and answer some more questions. Get in the car, motherfucker! <laughs> the, uh, the Wii U has actually pressure-sensitive buttons, so uh, th the X is actually for all different types of shit, like, if you hold it down, it does shit, if you tap it, it does shit, so you, you gotta get used to that just a little bit, and the cool thing is, look at this, look at this, hey, you, you, you know how, like, kitty games like this don't usually let you run people over, see how they're diving out of the way, this game actually lets you run fuckers over, where are you going, bitch, ah, ha, 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 ah, shit, that is amazing, so, anyway, Let's get on with the questions. It's from One Eye Willie. He says, "How's it hanging, Jay? Little bit to the right. Little bit to the right, right about now." Ha! <laughs> you asked. You asked. Anyway, let, let's let's keep moving on with the going on. Fuck it. We'll turn on our sirens to get there a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Oh shit! But uh, One Eye Willie says, "Were were you born half deaf, or when did your family realize?" This is actually a really really uh. Crazy question, because a lot of people don't realize that you can be deaf for most of your life and not even realize it. And people just think you're being an asshole and not paying attention. And that's what happened to me. I got in trouble in school all the time for, quote-unquote, not paying attention and shit. And I, I had a hard time, you know, keeping, keeping my attention. But I, I figured out later on that it was actually because I wasn't hearing what was going on. And I was just kind of tuning everything out, so I was just like, you know, uh, you know, I, I didn't really tell anybody, I was just, you know, everybody just thought I was an asshole. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was, I, I, I was born with some type of hearing disability. It has gotten worse over time, especially because I'm, uh, right now, I have, a, I have a set of headphones on. I spend a lot of my time with, uh, headphones on or any type of little devices in my ear that help me hear hey. a little bit better. Uh, if you ever see, like, people walking around with Bluetooth in their ear and shit like that, oh, sometimes okay, those thanks. aren't Bluetooth. Sometimes those are actually Jace, hearing Jace aids. McCain. And, uh, I know you're gonna be like, what? McCain? Go look it up. There are Legend. hearing aids. For younger people that look like Bluetooth headsets and that amplify sounds. And it's only going to be in one ear unless you want to be that douchebag that looks like with two in every ear. But you know what? Sometimes I'd rather let people think that I'm a douchebag with a little fucking Bluetooth headset in instead of letting people know that you're fucking half deaf. Because if they find out that you're half deaf, they think, oh, you're handicapped. I can take advantage of you. And then people start doing stupid shit. Like, uh, really, the biggest thing I hate is when people find that you're half deaf and they start talking underneath their breath in okay. front of you to other people and they're like they, they they expect you not to realize but i can read lips 
I can read what the fuck you're saying. So, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to get away with. You're not going to get away with shit. I already know what you're saying, motherfucker. I already do. <laughs> so, let's get on with the next question really quick. And it's from Clock Based Theme. And Clock Based Theme says, Why is every motherfucking question about Borderlands? Sure, he does the Borderlands gameplay, but that doesn't Hello? mean that the questions have to be... Hey, motherfucking men! Yeah, Thank you very much, you Clock okay? Based Theme. Uh... But his question is doing? actually, you if you were me. able to do I mean, anything, no matter how Witness ridiculous protection. it was, what would it be? Rex is out. And I, 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 I know this sounds you. stupid, no, but, he's not but me. mine would have to do with himself. space. I know I, I know, I talk about dinosaurs all the time, the mayor just but I mean, still here. I would like to go what? to like, I? I, I, I know you're like, yeah. you're probably thinking ridiculous and silly and everything. But when I think of ridiculous, I think of like, you know, out of this world, Here's big time, huge shit. And place. how how Where much bigger you? does it get I'm in space? I would like to go to another planet and meet other civilizations and shit like that. I think I think that would be pretty fucking awesome. So uh my my, my uh my most ridiculous thing that I could ever do would probably be like, you know, I, I guess it would be discover an alien civilization and then come in contact with them. I think I think that would be pretty fucking awesome. So, uh, <laughs> look at this shit. We, we're, we're Lego fucking shit. And we gotta go help this guy. It looks like he's doing some dance, sure dance, motherfucking revolution. Look, oh no, he's pounding on the fucking. <laughs> He's oh. pounding on the goddamn fucking computer. Hey there. So this is we we, we got to rebuild this shit. And this is actually a theme in all Lego games. Uh, you know, there, there'll be areas you can't pass, but you'll be able to rebuild areas and uh, or destroy areas and rebuild them. And then you'll be able to be like, yo, fucking, I can get across there now. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Because I'm a Lego boss. <laughs> so the next question, though, is from Murph, 1980s. And he says... Mac, do you watch El Crescidor? I do not. I do not. I, 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 ah, man. He says, what do you think of him? All right. Uh, obviously, El Crescidor is doing something, right? Because he has a large, you know, he has a large fan base. He, he's got himself a damn good fine channel over there. So, you know, hats off to him. I, I respect people that are able to, you know, pop out whatever the fuck they want to pop out on their channel, and he's popping out whatever the fuck he wants to pop out. But, I do think he's a little bit annoying, and I can do a little I'll do a little impression for you. This is what I hear when I watch an El Presidor video. Alright, ready? I people! Flip flap, slabity zap! Flip flap, slabity zap! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! <laughs> Shit! And he's like, uh, uh, wow, look at this. Bullshit. Bull oh, camping, motherfucker. Nothing's ever his fault. And I, I feel him because, you know, you, you gotta rage when you play Call of Duty. You gotta rage when you play Call of Duty. And he's made a living. Well, I, I wouldn't say a living, but I mean, he, he's made a pretty good, uh, pretty good niche for himself on, uh, on YouTube as that guy that just fucking... He's flip flap so that'd be that. That's a, yeah. it's the best way that I could ever fucking I I, I could describe El Presidor is flip flap scrap do that. That's just it's just what I hear inside my head. So uh let's move on to the next question. We're getting through these pretty damn good and I don't want to. I wanna play the game, but there's a lot of motherfucking cutscenes. But this is the first episode of this goddamn uh, series. So there are going to be a lot of cutscenes and tutorials and shit like that. So, look, yeah, I see it. I see it. It's a vehicle request desk. Alright, yeah, I, I know they only let me use one car, motherfucker. Ah, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> look at this guy. He's throwing a fit. So he, 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 he. He looks like Bart Simpson. That's how Bart Simpson walks when he's singing. He goes, bump, 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 bump. <laughs> Where you going, pussy? Gotta break the flagpole. How do you like those Chuck apples? <laughs> Shit. So, uh, up there. the next question, though, is from... <laughs> a monster. There's no monster up there. Please don't let it eat me. No, there's no monster. It's uh, not going to sure, eat Frank. you. If anything's going to eat you, it's going to be your fucking door? guilty conscience. Oh, Look at him. He we'll looks guilty. He's got fucking it's orange special. plastic hair. I don't trust people on, with orange plastic hair. That's why I don't trust anybody from that show, so Lazy Town. <laughs> but, uh... Orange guy bosses, speaking of orange hair, this motherfucker says, 
What do you look like, Mac? Uh, I got two eyes, I got a nose, I got a mouth, I got, I got some hair, I got balls, you know, fucking... What, what do you want to know, man? I look like my avatar that I put up there. I mean, all you guys are asking what I look like, I do have pictures of myself on the Facebook that's linked from my channel. So, uh, you know, I don't understand why it's, why it's a big secret. Why is it... Why is it a big secret what I look like? I mean, I put fucking pictures up. I mean, I know you guys want face cam, but that's stupid. Fucking, I, I'm not a big fan of the whole face cam. I don't think, I don't think it looks good. I think it looks like shit. It's gonna, that's why I like this fucking, this Wii U gamepad that I have right here. Because this shit allows me to look at the HUD, like the fucking minimap and shit. And it's not cluttering up the screen. It's not cluttering up the screen. So get out of my way! Fucking ass. Well, what? Yeah, see? Those are special blocks. If this guy would just get the fuck away from me. Th these blocks, you could build big shit around the city. And they give you, like, extra shit. So let's go ahead and change into our costume. Uh, see how we get to hold X to go to the... Hey, there we go. Shut up, motherfucker. Don't give me a compliment. You're a man. You're a man. You're not supposed to be giving me a... Look at this guy. Do you even lift, bro? Nope. You don't. You fall. <laughs> but, uh, let's get our ass back up these stairs. And, uh, I don't understand. Like they said, orange dude, fucking... Man, uh, I have my picture on my Facebook. So I don't I don't understand what the big secret is. I don't, I don't hide from you guys. I'm pretty sure fucking... You know, if I hid from you guys, it would be a way bigger secret. But right now, you know, my fucking... You guys can see my face. It, it might be covered with sunglasses and a hat and a really epic beard. But, I mean, it's it's nothing... It's, it's, it's me. That's what I look like. Right now, I'm wearing a hat. I'm not wearing my glasses because it's 2.30 in the fucking morning. And I'm inside, and uh, you know, I'm I'm sporting my beard. I got my beard. I mean, this is what I look like. I just I don't do face cam videos. I I'm not a very good photographer. I don't have a very good camera. If you've ever seen any like the product reviews I've done and shit, my camera sucks balls, and so does my photography skills. So no, there's gonna be no face cams in the future until I can actually hammer that out and figure out uh you know exactly what I'm gonna do. But my first vlog, if I ever do one, will be at 100,000 subscribers. I've said that forever. You guys get me 100k and I'll do a vlog. But uh, I, I wouldn't expect daily vlogs or anything like that just because I think vlogs are stupid. But uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I would do one at 100k just so people could be like, Flip, what? Oh, see how I brought that back on you? Do you see how I brought that back on you? And, uh... My, my, my throat's getting dry. I got I gotta sip this bear right here. And I'll give you a call once you're hooked up, Chase. Ah, that is good stuff. That is amazing. I love ice cold fucking beverages, and it's just it coats your mouth so good. And when you swallow it, it's like it's like oh my god, where have you been? My entire life, baby. Where have you been? <laughs> ah, shit. You ever see, like, old school where, uh, you know, Will Ferrell, he does the beer bong, and he goes, oh, my God, it's so good. When it hits your lips, it's so frosty. Yeah, you remember that from old school? That is that, that is the feeling I experience when, when I do the same thing, when I take a sip right there. And usually I cut those type of things out. But I talked about it before I took the sip, way, so I gotta keep that in now. I can't just be like, no, nope, look, I'm gonna do this and nothing happens. No, you, we, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta fucking do this shit. Come on, I gotta set up, alright, I gotta synchronize to the computer. This right here, actually, it gives me my mini-map on my little fucking gamepad. And, uh, <laughs> shit. So, hey! Don't make fun of your own game. This game has some of the worst progress bars in it. And I'm pretty sure they realize it. That's why they put that joke in there. That's, uh, that's actually pretty fucking hilarious. But let's get on with the questions. And the next one's from Big Dash F Big Dash of Force. I ain't fucking my words up today. But uh, that's what you get. I've been up for like 30-some hours. Been drinking some bears. I've been hanging out. 
but doing some shit and fucking making some videos for you. I'm tired as fuck. But after this, I gotta edit and then I gotta render and then I gotta put it up. Uh, actually, if I get it done, if I get the first episode uh, done rendering, well, if I start it rendering before four o'clock in the morning, I might just go to sleep and put that up at noon. And then render the other one, have it up there. Uh, usually these, these episodes take uh, about an hour, an hour long to... Uh, woo! That bear just kicked back up on me. Huh. But uh, usually these take about an hour long per episode to do it. Where am I going? You're looking for donuts. Uh, They're in the chief's office. Yeah, I want donuts, motherfucker. Look at these donuts. <laughs> by the time I'm 40. Why don't you go... Oh, there's, there's shit on my game pad. Right. All right. Yeah, I got my communicator working, bitch. Uh, you can't see it, but her face just popped up on the gamepad. She's all talking and shit. I had to turn the volume off on the gamepad, though, so it comes through the TV, and you can actually see and hear the uh, subtitles. But that's no big deal. But Big Dash of Force. Uh, where was I? Yes, like I said, these videos usually take about an hour long to render. Uh, render. To fucking, you know, record. And then they take about an hour long to edit, and then another fucking, like, two to three hours to render for an hour long, you know, 1080p, 720p footage, wherever the fuck you want to do it. But, uh, look at this. This is actually really cool. Uh, you, you can follow footsteps with this shit, so, uh, that, that's actually pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, each episode, uh... Both doing both episodes of my Sunday Q and A usually take about eight hours uh, from start to finish, from start of the recording to finish. It usually takes that fucking long to uh, you know get this shit moving, to get this shit going. So that is a uh, that is pretty crazy. That is a lot of work for two videos, but it, it's fucking worth it. It's fucking worth it. Yeah, wake up, bitch! I'm gonna hit you. Ah! Fuck your donuts, pussy. Oh, I can build shit. Oh, what am I going to build? A gong? I'm going to be like, wong. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to build. It's going to play the fucking jazzy, uh, you know, old school 70s thing. Yeah, here. That fucking slap bass, man. But uh, speaking of slap bass, let's answer Big Dash of Force's question. He says, what kind of music do you like? Sorry if you've already said this before. Actually, this is probably only the second time in a year I've answered this. <laughs> Why does... Why did he have a fro? Did you see him? They, they put a fro on that guy. What the? Ah, <laughs> shit. It's like, it's like old school 70s montage. I, I love this game. It's so, it's so tongue in cheek. It's fucking amazing. And everything's a cliche. And I like that. And that, that's why I like this game. It's fun. You may think it's a kid's game, but I'm a big kid at heart, man. I love I love kids' games. And these these are the type of games that I can just sit back, relax, drink a beer, and just uh just hang out, you know, not really anything too fucking serious. So uh yeah, Mr. Mr. Death Hands, I think we'll go we'll, we'll look over there. Big dash of force. Why did I say death hands? <laughs> but uh yeah, I listen to a lot of metal, heavy metal, old school classic rock. Uh, a lot of that, but I also do listen to a little bit of hip hop and like underground rap. Uh, a lot of rappers that not a lot of people have heard of. Uh, I, I don't really want to just name everybody because there's so many bands and fucking musicians out there that I do like, that I do respect, and that I would, uh. <laughs> it's a Sherlock Holmes! Did you see that? Fuck that. But, uh. Yeah, it's it's just, you know, I listen to anything that sounds good, man. As, as long as it's real instruments. Uh, I don't like real instruments. Uh, I, really, I hate music with fake instruments that try to emulate, like, dubstep. It really, it, it really pisses me off to see... <laughs> He's running away on a lawnmower. His other oh, shit. The but, uh, yeah, no, seriously. Him. Like, dubstep, I just, I can't, I can't get, I, it's, it's just so, so wrong in every bar. way so, to see to a fucking quote-unquote musician on stage try to break a laptop like a guitar. A Come on, man. All right, you, you know what? You want to make electronic music? Go ahead, do you, and have fun with that. But, why are you going to pretend that you're a rock star? You're not a rock star. You want to break guitars? Learn how to play guitar. Then you can break guitars. 
You fucking push buttons on a laptop and break it? You don't see me having a fucking, like, really good video and throwing my fucking computer across the room? No! I mean, do you really think you're gonna see a fucking YouTuber is, like, fucking gonna win a fucking... I guess... That would be like winning a tournament in front of everybody at, like, MLG Dallas and just fucking start swinging around your fucking controller and just start smashing it on the ground. What the fucking point is it? You're not a rock star. <laughs> you, there's... When you break a guitar, that was, that was like something, I'm pretty sure The Who started it. The Who was probably the first band that I can actually think of, going back through like the, you know, timeline of history of music, that actually destroyed their instruments on purpose for the enjoyment of the crowd. And, uh, you know, to do that with a laptop is a disgrace. It's a disgrace to music. And, uh, you know, if you're going to make electronic music, go ahead. But you know what? You are nothing next to a real musician that knows how to play a fucking instrument. That's like, that's one of the coolest things in the world is when you know how to play an instrument and that you could just you take something some crime, that does geez. nothing and make beautiful, Remember, beautiful music out of it. That, I, I, I respect that a fucking, a huge amount. I really do. And I think, uh, I think it's really, really, uh, it's a really underrated talent in this world for people to th th that fucking can play instruments. Like, I, I mean, people are like, oh, do you play any instruments? Yeah, you know, everybody's fucking like, oh, you know, I play a little blah, blah, blah. No, if you know how to play an instrument, then that means you can pick that shit up and wail out any motherfucking song you want. And if you can do that, I respect you because that's, that's something I can't do. Like, I can play a few songs on a few instruments. But, uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, let's go. Look at that, I just marked it on my motherfucking, uh, that, that's actually really cool. That's fucking, uh, to use this fucking Wii pad. Alright, move, motherfucker! Just press and hold Cherry Tree Bank on your, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. alright. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I had to hold it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you can play an instrument and you can play it well, I, I respect the shit out of that. That is, uh... That is something that not everybody in this motherfucking world can actually do. Chase? <laughs> All right. Like, so the, the next question is from. Oh, would you look at that? That's why I said death hands, because the next question is from a guy named Skull Hands. <laughs> that is a uh, that is epic. So uh, I, I'm not as much of a fucking moron as I originally anticipated. So that is always good news when you find out that you're not as dumb as you think you are. <laughs> but uh. There's a bank robbery going on, motherfucker. It's a little bit early for motherfuckers to be robbing banks in this game. A little bit. First mission, too. They're like, go stop a bank robbery. <laughs> I wonder if these motherfuckers are going to be shooting at us. Because, look at that, he's on a Segway. He's on a Segway. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That is amazing. My girlfriend hates clowns. She really does, too. And they're obnoxious, too, so I, I can see why she hates clowns, but she's more into, like, hating clowns because of fucking It. You ever seen that movie, It? You'll know why she hates motherfucking clowns. But, uh, yeah. School Hand says, Jay, do you like The Offspring? Yes, yes, I really do. I love The Offspring. Uh, now, I, I like the original Offspring albums, uh, the, now when they started doing like weird shit like uh, you know, pretty fly for a white guy and fucking uh, I guess it was a uh, wow wow you get a job, <laughs> uh, that fucking shit. Uh, th they they kind of started getting a little weird there. Oh look, look, <laughs> that is amazing. Is he dead? Oh, the getaway driver is escaping on foot. Where the fuck's he going, motherfucker? Oh, there he is. There he is. We're gonna run this motherfucker over. Get out! Get out! Stop, oh shit! Don't run, pussy! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> you green-haired motherfucker! Yeah! You, won't get you have the right to remain silent, and you have the right to now. give up You're all your Lego small. pegs out of your asshole, like you just did. Hey, give me that Porsche! Give me the Porsche! Yeah, it's an emergency, motherfucker! I can commandeer. Any shit I won't. Oh, we got a video call coming in from Ellie. She's like, Can you give me an update. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like the original Offspring. I think they're a very good, uh, very good band. I just don't like their later stuff where they started getting a little bit too weird for me. 
little bit too weird. But uh, the next question. Oh shit. The next question though is uh, still from School Hands. He says, uh, "Would you sell a car for a truck?" Uh, depends on what truck, really. I am not a big fan of trucks, and I don't know a huge amount about, uh, you know, the various years of trucks that are available and, uh, you know, the options and shit like that. I'm more of a sports car type of guy. I know a lot about sports cars, but, uh, there are some trucks, like a fucking, uh, Ford Lightning, uh, Chevy 454 SS, Things like that that I, I would actually question? consider Does owning, but uh, outside of that or a turbo diesel dually, I, I don't really have the desire oh, no. to own any type of truck. But uh, you know, if the price is right and the deal is right and I can make money off of it, yeah, I'll trade a car for a truck. It's, it's uh, anything that will make money, really. Uh, I, like I said, I, if anybody ever like my Saturn that's outside right now, I got a little Saturn ion. Uh, we bought that for fucking gas mileage purposes. But uh, if somebody offered me the chance to, you know, make a little bit of money more than the car is worth, I'd probably take it. I would probably take it and then get something a little bit better. Or, uh, you know, find another car to... Oh, shit. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta change into a police officer outfit. Oh, I gotta use the fucking... I, I, I wish you guys could see this, because this is actually really fucking amazing. What I'm doing right now is I'm scanning through the walls, and uh, I found the suspect. He's in that garage down there, and I zoomed in on him, locked in, and it allows us to find people through the walls. So that's actually a really cool way to use this uh, Wii gamepad. And I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering about this gamepad, too. It's actually pretty comfortable to hold. It's not as uh, not as heavy as you would think it's going to be. It's uh, probably maybe about one and a half times heavier than an Xbox controller, but when you consider the fact that it has a fucking like five inch touch screen on it, it's uh, it's pretty fine. Shut up, motherfucker! I'm gonna get you, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to go pick this shit up. I already know what I'm doing right here, because like I said, I've already played the first ten minutes, but uh, you know, we'll, 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 right, I'm stuck. Can't you jump this high? Bitch, I'll you show you how high for me to I can jump. You, know? you don't want to know how high I can get. I can get pretty fucking high. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next question. And it's from uh, Jacob. Jacob715. Man, I'm fucking my words up all today. He says, hey, is there any memories hey, with your photographic you memory that you want to unsee? Uh, funny incidents, not so much. Uh, sad, disappointed ones. Yeah, uh, the, the the one that comes to mind right now, I know, oh man, this is a, uh, uh, we gotta follow footprints to hidden Lego objects. Where we going? Where we going? But uh, there was this one time my buddy came over, and uh, my mom, who is a raging fucking alcoholic, she, uh, she fucking, uh, I already did that. Yeah, where am I going this time? I just went back this way. God damn it. Uh, find somebody's nearby. Uh, I thought I already did that. Oh, well. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, my mom is a raging alcoholic back in the day when I was a kid. And uh, one of my buddies came over. I got a Men in Black, the original uh, Men in Black, for uh, it was a bootleg. I don't If you know what a bootleg copy is, it's... Pretty much, it, it's pretty much somebody that, you know, torrents a video, that, that, that's what it would be now. Uh, back in the day, it was motherfuckers taking, <laughs> they would take the fucking, what do you call that, a camcorder inside the fucking movie theater, and they would, uh, they would, how do you say that, they, they would just film it. They would film it right there, and then they would sell it, and uh, we used to get it at a donut shop nearby where I lived, and a donut shop sold a... Uh, bootleg videos and they used to make a lot of money on it too and we were watching bootleg men in black this is how old this is like how long ago this really was but uh we were watching it because it was out in the movies and wasn't out on video yet vhs vhs remember that shit yeah <laughs> but anyway uh my mom said that my friend could come over and hang out and we were watching it and he was gonna sleep over and my mom busted in drunk with a towel on and she fucking told my friend to go home. And it was like, 
2 in the morning. He was like, I, I, I can't go home, you know, my whole family is sleeping. I just can't fucking bust into my house at 2 in the morning. This is, we were probably like 13, 14 at this time, somewhere around there. And uh, fucking, like, my mom pointed to go home and she dropped her towel. And, uh, yeah, I, I saw full 70s mom bush of my own mother. And so did my friend. And it was, uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> It was pretty bad. Get back here, motherfucker! Woo! Yeah! You're going to the slammer! Right. Go to the slammer, the bitch! Y'all can't fuck with Mac way. McKean. Uh, That's my new name, way. is Mac... Oh, he's taking the easy way. <laughs> That's, uh, he's just we spilling his guts. He's gonna get you, stabbed. This guy kind of looks like fucking sure. Fred Durst <laughs> wow. from fucking Limp Bizkit. Really he's all way. like, I did it for the nookie! What? The nookie! So you can t come back here, Fred Durst. Hey. Fuck you. Fuck hey, Fred Durst. Yeah, run, bitch. Run, yep. run your Lego ass it. away. It looks like one but uh, ah uh, shit. You want Where do I? Hey, uh, I want that. I want that car. I want give that car. Why don't you give me this little piece? Of you know what? We're gonna take the convertible. Police business. Yeah, it's police business, motherfucker. But uh, all right. Uh, that that's pretty much the one memory. That sticks out in my head that I don't want in my head is seeing my mom's vagina. <laughs> that is a that is a bad vagina. Uh, I I came out of there, you know, fucking so I, I wrecked that shit on the way out. So I feel bad for anybody trying to get my mom's vagina because I fucked her vagina up pretty. I don't even want to say that. I just said I wrecked my mom's vagina. What the, what, what the fuck is wrong with me? Seriously. I wrecked my mother's vagina. Due to some technical difficulties, I'm going to end it right there. And stay tuned because episode 2 will be coming up in just a few hours. So make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it. But also, don't forget to put any questions you have down below for next week. So like I said, my name is Jay Warden After Kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.